Hi, my name's Ethan and I live out in beautiful Los Angeles with my wife, Hila. I'm a YouTuber with a flawless reputation. You might say, everybody loves me. I've got a podcast that I run with my wife and I honestly can't think of a single bad episode we've ever made. We've got A-list celebrities, and now that I think about it, I'm sure everybody loves me. No, stupid. Everybody hates you. What? <laughs> Get out of here. <sighs> you may have noticed our beautiful LA mansion. And no, it's not a set. <laughs> it's really where we live. <laughs> oh, sour. Hey, don't tell people where we live. Well, it's their business too, Hila. Everybody's got a right to know where we live. Hey, but didn't we move because we kept getting swatted? Well, yes, Hila, but don't worry about that. We've got two vicious guard dogs to protect us. <laughs> you guys ever notice how every now and then someone will make a new video about how terrible I am? Every now and then? Okay, fine. All the time. You see, some people tell me I've changed, and frankly, I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, cut the crap, Ethan. You're a greedy hypocrite and nobody likes you. I just watched this video and I don't even like you anymore. What? That can't be true. Let me see that. And by the way, Ethan, I told you not to use my car. Okay, let's have a look here. Hmm. One million views. 96% like ratio? And this guy must be right, I am a piece of shit. Well, let's have a look and see what he actually said. Hello, guys and gals, me, Mudahar, and ladies and gentlemen, do we have a hell of a video today. Now, this video is all about Ethan from H3H3, Ethan Healer. As you all know, that H3H3 is a channel that I've actually followed since its beginning. I was there for the reaction videos, and I noped the fuck out when the podcast began. I watched a couple episodes, it's fine. But I'm sorry, after how long that episode, how long that podcast has been running, it's just really, uh, it really shows why H3H3 has gone out of touch. The guests you invite are treated like shit sometimes, okay? Right. You have these really awkward cringe moments like Bill Burr. That was awkward. You invite podcast stars like Keemstar, okay, who people don't like, and then immediately go into the comments and say, yeah, fuck this guy, we hate him too. That's true, I do hate him. And that's not the worst. What's the worst about it is he's went from all of that humble beginning to a fucking egotistical dude at the end of the day. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? It goes beyond the ego, because this video is sponsored by a shitty fucking take. Oh, okay. So something actually did happen. There's a reason he's making this video. So what was my bad take? Now, in this trying time, Ethan has had plenty of time to sit on Twitter and morally grandstand and basically spread his political beliefs as shitty as they may be and as pseudo-intellectual as he comes across. But that's not even my concern. My concern is his donation shaming and how hypocritical it fucking is. And it's something that has actually pissed me off enough to make this video. Wait, what? Donation shaming? I don't recall donation shaming anyone at all. Now, going into this, if you don't know, Jeff Bezos, the richest fucking dude in the world, okay, donated a hundred million dollars. Now, as far as I'm considering this, a hundred million dollars is a hundred million dollars. That is a lot of money that has gone to save lives and fight against this pandemic. You may look at his net worth and say, wow, he donated a tiny percentage of his cash, but that's a hundred million dollars that any organization can do wonders with if they use it appropriately. Ethan did the exact same thing. He looked at, uh, he looked at Jeff Bezos, said, wow, the richest guy in the world only gave a hundred million dollars and just completely shat on it. To be this righteously angry, surely I must have said that. I mean, all of his fans are spamming our subreddit. They're tweeting at me, hate shit. They're emailing me, hate shit. It's got all these views and likes. Surely I actually said that, right? Let me actually look back and see, what did I say? So I talked about how Amazon was only giving sick leave to people who test positive for coronavirus, which I mean, admittedly is insane and obviously not donation shaming. I talked about Whole Foods asking its employees to donate their own sick days to other employees so they could take time off. Well, that's not donation shaming, but it is shitty. I did say that Jeff Bezos is looking more and more like Lex Luthor. He looks more and more like um, Le Lex, Lex Luthor, Luthor more yeah. and more every day. <laughs> which may be considered body shaming, but frankly, Lex Luthor is a lot more attractive than Jeff Bezos, so I don't think that's body shaming or donation shaming. But he's so certain that I donation shamed Jeff Bezos. Imagine coming and making a video with such righteous anger about something that never even happened. My concern is his donation shaming 
and how hypocritical it fucking is. Well, I didn't say it, folks. Because this video is sponsored by a shitty fucking take. Imagine making a video that starts with this video was sponsored by a shitty fucking take and the take didn't even happen and then all of a sudden that shitty fucking take is yours to have. By a shitty fucking take. Now just because I'm sure there are some people who are saying well it probably happened in a different podcast somewhere else let me just reference you here now. He admits in a later video that I actually never said it. So let's just put that to rest right now. Now, going back to that original video, I'm gonna take an L on a point where I talked about Ethan Klein donation shaming Jeff Bezos. And while he didn't outright donation shame Jeff Bezos, because this it's video honestly really, really hard to sometimes game. look in, uh, in in that favor because My when you go in his check donation Ethan's shaming. podcast record, and you can how see that he's definitely punching around on billionaires is. all the time. For the record, I would way rather simp for Belle Delphine than Jeff Bezos. At least she sends me spit. All Jeff Bezos sends me is coronavirus and all my Amazon packages. I bet you this guy licks all of his Amazon packages just to get closer to Jeff Bezos' musk. Now once I saw his video because it was spammed to our subreddit a hundred billion times, I immediately went and tweeted him a correction. I showed him the dates of the highlight and the podcast from which they was, came from. And I said, yo, this these happened 15 days before Jeff Bezos ever donated. So obviously it would be temporarily impossible for me to have donation shamed him. Now, as I go forward, please bear in mind that his original video entitled The Hypocrisy of Ethan Klein, in which the whole central thesis is me donation shaming Jeff Bezos is still up in its original form without any correction or note or comment of any sort trying to retract or correct the record to falsely make a statement about someone and to know that your statement is false and to keep it up well, that's the very definition of a slander itself, folks. Donation Kobe. shaming. And how hypocritical. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Kobe. So now that we're all on the same page, let's enjoy. Now, I'm just going to say this much, okay? Donation shaming is shitty, Ethan, okay? Let me just put it out there. The take I had is the right fucking take because it shows you that that money is going to be used to save lives. To look at someone donate and then immediately look at how much they're worth is so fucking toxic, it's not even funny. But he made that take. Nope, didn't make that take. It makes me wonder, did he really just look at the thumbnail and then launch into this righteous rant about me? Based on a thumbnail? I mean, people have accused me of not doing research, but boy, I have never made a video based on a thumbnail. That's crazy. And then it's also hypocritical because this is the same guy that lives in a $10 million fucking mansion, look it up. So now he gets his fans all riled up about what an evil dude I am, and then encourages them to go find out where I live. Now, when we moved houses, we moved because we kept getting swatted. That was the reason we decided to move. And when we moved, we made this thing that's called a blind trust so that, that your address is not public when you buy a house. We went through great lengths with lawyers and accountants to set up this trust so that our personal address would be concealed. Well, there's a website called Dirt that is owned by Variety that specializes in essentially doxing celebrities. So to prop up this leak of our home address while simultaneously lying to your fans about me is, in your own words, a shitty fucking take. You know, as a fan of yours, Muta, some ordinary gamer, I have to say, You've really gone downhill. I really miss the old Muta. For example, this is what old Muta would have said. In exposed videos where people are leaking private messages from somebody and their ex-girlfriend or some shit like that. And then I've seen other videos where people are leaking some like fucking really, really private shit at this point with all without the person's consent. And it's like, it's the same guy that lives in a $10 million fucking mansion. Look it up, look it up, look it up. When you do that, it's almost like, what the fuck is this channel even? It's all, it's, it's so weird to watch. And the thing is now is like some of these channels, they get a little bit of fucking traction. And the thing is that the guys behind them, they lose their fucking minds. They think they're goddamn celebrities now and shit. And as a side note, the guy who swatted us right here, a neo-Nazi, and may I say you are looking very master race today, is in prison for swatting us. So kids, this is a PSA to you, don't swat. Look it up. The same guy that lives in a $10 million fucking mansion, look it up, and hasn't donated shit as far as I'm considered to COVID-19. And you know how I fucking believe that? That's because this is the same guy that donated only $1,000 to Team Trees when that was out. 
See, I can do the same fucking thing you do, Ethan, but I'm not gonna do it because I'm not a fucking hypocrite when it comes to this shit. The reality of it is he fucking only donated a tiny percent of his net worth to a charity. And that's his take. If I was to apply Ethan logic, yeah, guess what? You're just as shitty as Bezos, but I'm not gonna do that. The layers of irony are, there's so many layers. I have to first peel back one layer here. First obvious layer being that, of course, I didn't say that. So when you take that away, all that's left is actually you just literally donation shaming me. But I'm not gonna do that. He, and then another layer of irony is that he's using an example of me donating to try to prove that I never donated. <laughs> Are you guys following this? But he conveniently skipped over the fact that we have donated every time a tragedy has hit. When the hurricane hit Houston recently, we raised $237,000. What humongous was in need, we raised $156,000. When the Paradise Fires hit California and ravaged that whole town, we raised $159,000. We donated tens of thousands of dollars during those campaigns. We also donated $50,000 to Australia to help with the wildfire there just recently. But you're gonna go cherry pick the one time I donated a thousand dollars. This is the same guy that donated only a thousand dollars to Team Trees when that was out. And by the way, aren't you worth two million dollars? Who the fuck are you to even sit here and lecture me on being rich? Like the difference between my wealth and your wealth is pretty much nothing compared to Jeff Bezos. So who the fuck are you talking about the pits of hypocrisy when you're worth two million dollars yourself? And in this same thread, I say that 20 of our employees from Teddy Fresh at great personal cost from ourselves are on full pay, full benefits, healthcare and everything for the whole duration of this. For you to cherry pick the one time I picked a thousand dollars to Team Trees is downright misleading, evil, and frankly, a shitty fucking take. This is an individual that morally grandstands against billionaires while being a multi-millionaire himself. By the way, he shows a tweet of me yelling at people in Brentwood Farmers Market telling them to go home because Brentwood has the highest infection rate of any neighborhood in Los Angeles. And here's the farmer's market during the peak of this pandemic. And this is morally grandstanding against billionaires. This is your example, dude. I'm not there. That's the point. Just this, this premise that because I'm rich, I can't criticize other rich people. It's insanity. It doesn't make any sense. What does that even mean? I don't get it. Let me put it into perspective, Ethan. You're so fucking out of touch that you and Jeff Bezos, yes, I know he's about 130 million times richer than you, I guess, by your math. But guess what? You're both in a situation that is better than 99.9% .9 of the fucking world out there. There's people who are who who are living paycheck to paycheck right now, wondering what the fuck they can do to move on month by month. And you're over here shitting on a billionaire donating 100 million bucks to a charity? Nope. I get it, he's the richest guy in the world. Yeah, I've done the math. I know what his net worth is. And if you were smart, Ethan, you would know that most multi-billionaires actually have their money tied up in stock and property, and they can't liquidate that shit right now in the middle of a pandemic. But again, that just shows me how much life fucking experience you actually have. See, the point that I'm trying to make here is hypocrisy is fucking terrible, especially when it comes from this guy who was so in touch with the community years ago and is now so fucking out of touch it's not even funny. Don't you guys own Teddy Fresh, by the way? One of that big, like, uh, leading brand, the affordable $50 t-shirt company that, that is out there? Why don't you guys sit down and make N95 respirator masks and donate them to health officials so they can use those masks to help protect themselves while they protect the general public getting infected right now because the death toll is getting pretty fucking high, Ethan. But you're not gonna do that. I love being lectured by this 25 year old on life experience. How much life fucking experience you actually have. Surely someone of his limitless life experience would know through research that 50% of all N95 respirator masks are made in China and immediately confiscated by the government. The other 50% are made by huge multinational companies that are immediately earmarked for governmental bodies. In fact, there's only a handful of factories that are even licensed to make N95 respirator masks. But, but what am I lecturing you, a man of such life experience? How much life fucking experience you actually have? In fact, little old me, the owner of Teddy Fresh, actually looked into the possibility of if we could make these masks and that's when I learned all of this. You see, our factories, they're not rated to make such masks, and even if they could, they would be immediately sold to governmental bodies. There's really no way for me to make N95 masks. But it's, it's presumptuous of me to lecture somebody of infinite humility 
and life experience such as yourself. So please accept my apology. That just shows me how much life fucking experience you actually have. The death toll is getting pretty fucking high, Ethan. What did I do? You act like I'm your governor. What did I cough in your mouth and give you COVID-19? The death toll is getting pretty fucking high, Ethan. Don't look at me. I didn't, I didn't eat a bat soup and cause this mess. What the hell did I do? Because this is the same individual that only acts out of self fucking interest. Don't believe me? How about you look at the fucking FUPA fund? When has that shit been active? It's sitting there with zero bucks in the fund and he ain't doing shit with it. It wasn't even active at all. Yes, a fund designed to help YouTubers fight fair use issues. I, I guess it's not here anymore. I guess it's not functioning. Hey, shit, we forgot about it. It was great when it financed and served us, but I guess it don't serve us anymore, so fucking call it a day. Ah, uh, yes, FUPA, the Fair Use Protection Act. The silver bullet of all H3 conspiracies. One shot and the H3 fan is no more. Well, I'm glad I actually have the opportunity to talk about FUPA because I see it being raised more and more about what a greedy scumbag I really am. So let me take you back on a little story time to explain once and for all, for Mudahar and everyone, what really is FUPA? Yes, we are being sued for copyright infringement it's been hanging over our lives like a cloud these past months. Yeah. So back when we were sued, I explicitly said that we did not want to raise money because the community had already done so much for us. We were honestly thinking about doing a crowdfunding because we were like, how are we going to pay $100,000 or are we going to be completely fucked? But honestly, you guys have supported us monetarily and emotionally. Mm -hmm for so long. I mean, on Patreon alone, you guys have given us like $50,000 over the course of our lifetime. I yeah. looked at it recently. I'm like, we can't ask you guys for more money. But Philip DeFranco, in his infinite wisdom, decided to raise money for us because he thought it was an important lawsuit for the whole community. This is a much bigger deal than just H3, H3 Productions. This is a huge case on fair use and YouTubers in general. And in Ethan's video, he says that, you know, this could bankrupt them, it could ruin them, but he doesn't want to ask, you know, anyone for money. Just thank you for all the support. We can't ask you guys for more money. All we can say is thank you so much for all the love and support you guys have given us. Fuck that, this is a huge deal, which is why as of recording this video, I am starting a GoFundMe to raise money for Ethan's defense. And I will say that I am extraordinarily grateful to him because at the time we definitely weren't rich. And if it wasn't for Philly D's good foresight in raising this money, we would have definitely not had the longevity required to win this case. FUPA, the fair use protection account, was set up because we thought we had so much extra money that we would have all this leftover money after our lawsuit to help the community with fair use issues. That money will not be used by, for any other purpose. We will never see a penny of it. It is going straight from Philly D's campaign into an escrow account for the sole purpose of protecting fair use. And we will be its first client. Mm -hmm. And that's why we decided to donate $5,000 of our own money. But as the bills started piling up, and we soon realized that if we kept helping people, we were going to run out of money and be in a bad situation with the lawsuit, which was the entire purpose that people donated in the first place. It was our moral imperative to fight and win this lawsuit for the whole community. Over a year passed, and we depleted all of the money in the account. We showed one of our bills as things were heating up for just one month was $50,000. This was the bill we got. Can you see that? Do a little zoom there. Yep, that's five zero. And then there's $54,000. All told, we ended up spending thousands and thousands of dollars of our own money on top of everything that was raised, but we were finally able to win the lawsuit. It was without a doubt one of the hardest, longest, most stressful times in our lives. And I would not wish a lawsuit on even my worst enemies. It does honestly dishearten me that the one truly indisputably good thing I've done for the YouTube community has been turned into a conspiracy theory about how evil I am. The truth is we went through hell 
We spent a great deal of our own money to create a legal precedent so people like you The debt toll is getting pretty fucking high, Ethan. could make commentary videos on YouTube. Our case was even published as case law. The only such example on the books in defense of commentary on YouTube. You can even go to copyright.gov and see it published there among a very small list of influential cases about copyright and fair use. We did all this to defend people's legal right to fair use and criticism, even if it's used to make shit like this about me. This video is sponsored by a shitty fucking take. I would hope that this would be my legacy here on YouTube, but people are hell-bent on making even this a case for how evil I am. Because this is the same individual that only acts out of self-fucking interest. Don't believe me? How about you look at the fucking FUPA fund? When has that shit been active? It's sitting there with zero bucks in the fund and he ain't doing shit with it. It wasn't even active at all. Yes, a fund designed to help YouTubers fight fair use issues. I, I guess it's not here anymore. I guess it's not functioning. Hey, shit, we forgot about it. It was great when it financed and served us, but I guess it don't serve us anymore, so fucking call it a change. On top of all of that, this information is so easy to find. I've talked about it so many times that anyone who even cared a little bit to look would have no trouble finding this information. But I can't really expect much more from a dude who makes a whole video based on the thumbnail. Some of these videos and they're exposing for the most stupidest shit ever. Like somebody could be fucking breathing and they'll make a video about it. It's like, what the fuck? What is this whole thing about? Like, what, what, what is the content there? And I've never figured it out. I've never understood it. I've never understood. See, at least when we talk shit about prank channels, at least they were making content. You know what I mean? At least they were making something. Like here, you just have fucking people reading tweets and talking shit over the internet. Or, or not talking shit, they're making up shit over the internet. And it's completely stupid shit. Sometimes it doesn't even matter, but they do it. And then the rabid fan base behind them just goes out and witches, witch hunts the hell out of some of these people. It's downright fucking stupid. I honestly don't know what to fucking say more about it. It's gotten to the point where it's like, it makes going on the site not as much fun anymore because when the slightest shit happens, these channels go up in arms. Like they gotta fucking dig out a, they gotta dig a story out of the insides of their fucking colon. But this concept of donation shaming, of hypocrisy, of being fuck the rich while also being rich yourself is just incredibly toxic to me. You know, it's gotten to a point where I could laugh at everything H3H3 posted, but dude, you are not a fucking intellectual. Your political takes are hot fucking garbage. Okay, let me just put that shit out there. So the political takes you're referring to, are those the ones that I have said or the ones that I have never said? Because it's kind of hard to tell with you. Takes against the rich who actually do more than the common person despite them not giving every single thing. Which by the way, Ethan, how do you expect every fucking multi-billionaire, do you expect them at every crisis to give half their net worth away? I mean, that doesn't fucking work that way. I, I just don't understand how, it, how, how you get that mind into your head. It's not in my head. I never said it. I don't know whose head it's in. You just keep putting more and more words in my mouth to make me seem like the most evil, pathetic piece of shit dude ever. And what's really troubling is that I really need to point this out again, that this video is up. No comment, no nothing. Views are still going up. People are still seeing this. These bold-faced, slanderous lie about me without any correction made to it at all. You haven't even cited anything as an example. It's kind of scary how willing people are to just consume all this information and take it for granted when you haven't even shown one single source. You haven't even cited one single source as evidence for me saying anything like this. It's almost like the more confident your lie is, the more people will believe it because they think to themselves, he's speaking so confidently and so factually for him to be actually just straight up fabricating this whole premise would be insane. And, and it is, it is, it's insane. But the reality of it is, is that this is an individual that shits on other people's for how little they donate. Nope. While also doing the exact same themselves. You know, Ethan, if you really fucking cared, okay, if you really gave a shit about helping the fucking world, we would all see it because you are the one guy to definitely rub it in our faces if you were to help the world out. I'm just gonna put that shit out there. It sickens me that you're gonna be at this situation. You're gonna, you're gonna use a pandemic to push some fucking ideology or some political belief or some nonsense when you fall into the pit of hypocrisy yourself. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna stretch this video out to 10 fucking minutes. I made my point, I said what I said. And you know what? Ethan, you're probably gonna fucking watch this video at some point. I know you will, okay? I definitely see that level of vanity in you at this point, that ego. This is really a catch-22 with this guy. If I donate, it's only to rub people's face in it. If I don't donate, then I'm a hypocrite.
But if I do watch your video, then I'm vain. But if I don't watch your video, then I'm ignoring criticism. <laughs> I really don't know how I could win with you. And you're gonna watch this video and you're gonna say, wow, here's another fucking hater, this smelly Indian hater on the internet who just doesn't understand me. And you know what? I guess I don't fucking understand you because we, we are so fucking out of touch, it's not even funny. But if for a second you get a moment of self-clarity and realize, wow, I had a really shitty fucking take, then maybe I'll just get that shred of respect back for you. I couldn't put it better myself, Mutar. And now that you're watching this because I know you're just so vain, I pose back this exact quote back to you. If for a second you get a moment of self-clarity and realize, wow, I had a really shitty fucking take, then maybe I'll just get that shred of respect back for you. But at the end of the day, I don't fucking care. I ain't jealous. I'm doing my own thing. I'm fine. I'm doing what I do. Okay, I know I, I know the jealous thing is gonna be hit hardcore because you're gonna have fan bases clash and you're gonna have this fucking you're gonna you're gonna have somebody say, wow, I guess you're just a hater. I guess you're a hater of what? Hater of a shitty take? Damn straight. You're gonna you're gonna use a pandemic to push some fucking ideology or some political belief or some nonsense when you fall into the pit of hypocrisy yourself, 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 yourself. You're gonna, you're gonna have somebody say, wow, I guess you're just a hater. I guess you're a hater of what? Hater of a shitty take? Damn straight. This guy must really, really hate himself then. So that's it for his first video. So now between then and his second video, let me just point out that his little H3 hit job has resulted in the biggest growth period that his channel has ever enjoyed by far. His video remains totally unredacted, unedited. I tweeted at him saying, hey, just so you know, I never said that, here are the dates, it's pretty obvious I never said that. And so this is how he corrects the record and apologizes to me. So now, without further ado, I give you his uh, epic apology, video number two. Oh shit, a lot has happened the past couple days, huh? <laughs> Ooh, $100,000 donation by our friend Ethan Klein. I wonder what may have caused that, but you know what? It is what it is. I wonder what may have caused that? <laughs> it was definitely me. We had been planning for a while of how we can help during the COVID-19 crisis. Here's proof because he's going to take all the credit for our donation. We've been talking about this for a while. And what we did is we donated $100,000 on Twitter of our own money unsponsored, just straight up our own money. Since then, Brendan Green, the creator of uh, PUBG, has thrown in an extra $50,000. So we have $150,000 and we're giving $500 away to three people every day for 100 days. That's $1,500 every day for 100 days for a total of $150,000. Since he saw that we announced this donation drive, yeah, again, that we've been discussing for a month, he immediately uh, makes a video taking all credit for this donation as if he had even dipped into his pocket of which there's two million dollars in it and made the donation himself. I'm actually really happy that Ethan Klein has donated a hundred thousand dollars because it's a hundred thousand dollars that's going to people out there that need it the most right now. And that's something that I don't think anybody should fault Ethan for. I know a lot of people want to get into the whole idea of he's doing it to save face. Oh shit, you let a fire under ass ass and caused it. And sure, those points might be true. You didn't light a fire under my ass. You blew smoke up my ass and all of your viewers' ass. Now you're sitting here, the so-called aficionado of reality checks. I'm kind of the fucking aficionado of handing out these uh, reality checks to a lot of things. And taking credit for my $100,000 donation is beyond insane. Now, going back to that original video, I'm gonna take an L on a point where I talked about Ethan Klein donation shaming Jeff Bezos. And while he didn't outright donation shame Jeff Bezos, it's honestly really, really hard to sometimes look in, uh, in, in that favor because when you go and check Ethan's podcast record, you can see that he's definitely punching around at billionaires all the time. Whoa, I'm sorry, was that an apology I heard? He's somehow blaming me for him having a shitty fucking take about something that I never even said. He blames me, he says, well, Ethan's always punching around billionaires. So of course it's his fault that I got this wrong. A post that I saw was perfect here. It may be true that Ethan didn't shame Bezos, but he's still a hypocrite because he called Bezos out for being quiet about the virus. But when he actually donates a lot of money, Ethan goes dark, doesn't want to address it. What, what am I running, the Jeff Bezos show? Unlike you, I don't lick Jeff Bezos' 
asshole at every chance I get. And it just so happens that since he's donated, we've only had one episode of the podcast in which it was an interview. Okay, so I haven't even had the opportunity to discuss his donation. This is the most cop-out shit I have ever seen in my life. It's, it, it takes a lot of character to do that. And I'm willing to take the L because I made a mistake. You know, it is what it is. And I'll take the L on that point, but I'll take my 10 W's for sure. Oh, you gotta love a guy who's so humble that he's gonna brag about how humble he is. 10 W's, there was, there's one letter. That video was about my hypocrisy for donation shaming Bezos. There's not one L and 10 W's. There's one L, dude, and it's all yours to own. How about an R for retraction? How about an A for apology? How about a C for correcting the original video? How about a P for how pathetic you are? How about an S for slander? How about a B for boot licking simp? But I'll take my 10 W's for sure. 10 W's? You want 10 W's, dude. How about a D for delusional? That being said though, it takes the maturity and it takes a level to admit when you're wrong. And yeah, I'll, ta I'll take my point on that. But that's called character development, and that's called being, being humble, humble, a page that I'm sure Ethan Klein will reach one day. <laughs> this guy is so humble. He takes it to bragging for 11 minutes about how humble, how much character development he's had. Being, being humble. humble. This is my favorite anime. The character arc on him has been extraordinary. He went from being an asshole to being an even bigger asshole. That is incredible. Now, Ethan failed to also cover the fact when I talked about the FUPA fund, which uh, conveniently only helped H3H3 productions. Now he's trying to rewrite history. The fact that I donation shame bet Jeff Bezos was just a small part of his original video. Let me show you the timeline and you can see how much of it was dedicated to FUPA. Just this tiny little sliver. And now he's acting like this was the central point of his original video, which by the way, with only the smallest amount of research would have revealed was a bullshit point anyway. I find it so hilarious. He's saying FUPA never helped anyone. Yet on his screen, I mean, this, this really is incredible. On his screen, you'll look here, is a tweet from FUPA, one of the lawyers saying, calling out a person, we've helped with FUPA. It's on his screen. Apparently those posts have been deleted from the H3H3 H3 subreddit and I've seen posts be, being deleted. I've seen my own video getting deleted and then re-uploaded with like higher likes. So it's been wild, all right? Yes, it's been deleted about 200 times because your fans keep brigading our community subreddit. And by the way, the only place left that it needs to be deleted is from your channel because it's wrong and slander. Now that being said, Ethan Klein did donate $100,000, which he made a post about it on good old Twitter. Wanted to help, but we weren't sure the exact method Oh, did you now? I wonder if a certain Pajit might have expedited that a little bit. Intentionally kept the amount to 500, so it's under the threshold that requires you to report it to the IRS. Don't let your buddy Bernie Sanders hear that shit. I don't think he'd appreciate you uh, telling people how to how to hide how to hide income from the IRS. That don't tell your Bernie Sanders, the enemy of my dom, Jeff Bezos, who has me on a dog collar licking his boot right now. Dude, that's called tax law. As someone of your infinite life experience. How much life fucking experience you actually have. Would understand that. No, this isn't uh, me trying to tell people how to dodge taxes. It's simply the law, dude. Yes, could Ethan have done it for ulterior motives? 100%. Really shitting on Ethan for this, I feel is, is, isn't exactly the right take to have. Give the man some credit where credit is fucking due. Good for you, man. I'm, I'm really happy that, you, that you've done this. Now, could you do it a little better, bro? Just donate to a food bank right now. I'll be real with you. Now, could you do it a little better, bro? Just donate to a food bank right now. I'll be real with you. Ooh, ooh. Okay, now this is my favorite moment of the all two videos because understand what just happened. He looked at my donation, $100,000 I'm giving straight cash to people. And he says, honestly, you could just give it to a food bank. That would be better. Do you know what we call that, ladies and gentlemen? If we back up here and just, we call that Donation shaming. My concern is his donation shaming and how hypocritical it fucking is. After all of that talking, all that grandstanding, all that righteous indignation, only there was someone, an aficionado of reality checks to talk to him. I, I'm kind of the fucking aficionado of handing out these uh, reality checks to a lot of things. Now, I'm not gonna go up into if, uh, you know, auditing every little piece of this. Uh, I'm gonna leave that up to any other Reddit detective. I'm gonna basically bury my hatchet where it is right now. So here he is suggesting that Reddit detectives need to audit our giveaway, that I am such a scumbag, of course, in his and everybody's mind, that I would uh, 
that I would lie, that I wouldn't even give this money away as I've claimed. So yes, he encourages Reddit detectives to audit our giveaway. Nice atmospheric there, dude. Now, to finish this video off, all right, to really, to really capstone it out completely, does this absolve Ethan of a lot of the hypocrisy that I wanted to call him out on? Absolutely not. Wow, dude, this is the worst apology ever. Uh, what hypocrisy? There's nothing left. There's nothing left of the original video. You cannot rewrite history. You cannot reframe this any other way. All of this left is a shitty fucking take in which you wrongfully accused me of donation shaming Jeff Bezos. You use that to point out how hypocritical I am. You refuse to amend, take down, or alter your original video. All this left is FUPA. You're going to try to rewrite history like the whole video was about FUPA, but anybody who does just a little bit of cursory research knows that FUPA is a big, fat, nothing burger. Man, if there was only somebody that could make sense of this. And it's downright embarrassing. Every channel, channels that have nothing to do with the topic certainly start throwing opinions around. Ah, <sighs> whose voice is that in my head? You guys hear that? And it just shows you how people join a bandwagon for the little bit of cheap views that they can get. This guy's making a lot of sense. Who is that? Everyone has just joined a bandwagon of like basically hating on someone or loving someone and taking a side when in reality if you think about it all youtube drama is essentially cringy as shit most of the people that follow this shit are fucking 12. now it's gotten to the point where it's fucking malicious there's people damn right quitting over this they're not making videos anymore because they got to deal with stupid people like this the point where all the channels do is harass all they do is fucking run these bullshit stories where i guess whatever fan base they have just goes out rabbit and attacks and it didn't just it just, it just becomes this whole hive of stupidity. To cover a bandwagon, like, is, is the $20 you earned off that video really, really worth the, uh, the loss of integrity you face? I don't know. I'm kind of the fucking aficionado of handing out these, uh, reality checks, 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 checks. Because this video is sponsored by a shitty fucking take. My concern is his donation shaming and how hypocritical it fucking is. A million dollar fucking mansion, look it up. How much life fucking experience you actually have. So the debt toll is getting pretty fucking high, Ethan. Don't believe me? How about you look at the fucking FUPA fund? You're gonna, you're gonna use a pandemic to push some fucking ideology or some political belief or some nonsense when you fall into the pit of hypocrisy yourself, yourself, yourself. yourself.